Candlepin New Generation encourages kids to be active and enjoy Candlepin Bowling. Candlepin New Generation is made possible by Academy Lanes, New England's largest Candlepin Center. Visit academylanes.com. By your community's public access channel. And by your Franklin friends and neighbors, good folks just like you. Thanks for supporting Franklin TV. And thanks for watching. Welcome to Candlepin New Generation. It's time for our 11 and under contestants to take the stage. Alongside Brian Rowe, I'm Rob Taylor. We're here at Woburn Bulladrome, and we have some of the best 11 and under bowlers in all of New England here joining us today. And when I say all of New England, I mean all of New England, because to my left is Addie. Addie is from Presque Isle, Maine. She made a seven-hour trip to join us. She qualified a month ago with a long trip. Now she's come seven hours. So, Addie, how's it feel to be here? Uh, it feels pretty good. How did you find out about the show and make such a long trip for it? Um, Dale, he works at Northern Lanes, and he told us about it, so I thought I would try it. And you tried it? You succeeded? You made the program? So what are you hoping to do up there today? Uh, try to get my ball as straight as possible and try to get first or second. Perfect. Well, we're wishing you luck. Ethan, you had a little bit less of a drive, but still nothing to be ashamed of. Ethan, what are you hoping to do up there on the lanes today? Um, bowl good and try to keep my ball straight. I think that's a great objective. Um, any nerves going through you? How are you feeling? No nerves at all? So you feel confident on the show. What's going through your head? Um, get over 100. It's a great goal. So Ethan's trying to get over 100. What about your contestants? Thank you, Rob. I have Cece and Matt with me. Cece, we'll start with you. How are you feeling today? Good. And how have you been bowling lately? Pretty decent. Our bowling league just ended last Saturday. Oh, okay, very good. And uh, what are you looking forward to the most today? What do you got to do to go out there and throw a big score? I'm looking forward to the bowling part pretty much because I really like bowling and I'm hoping to get over 90. Over 90, that's the goal over here. Reasonable. Then I got Matt with me. Matt, this is where you bowl all the time, right? Yeah. It's so how does that help you out? I know what the lanes are like, so I'm excited. You're a lot more comfortable here? Yeah. And uh, what are you looking forward to today? What do you want to do to go out there and throw a big score and make sure you go on to the championship match? I at least want to get over my average, which is a 92. All right, there we go, over average. Looking for pins. I think great objectives by our kids. Let's not talk any longer. Let's see our ladies take the lance. <laughs> 11 and under time, and we've got Liam Legier in the booth, the graduating senior, the self-proclaimed face of Candlepin New Generation, and I couldn't agree more. Liam, you pumped to be here? Yes, I am, actually. So am I. Addie's pumped to be here, too. She's throwing the first ball on lane 38. Good luck, Addie. And so Addie Hafford is bowling alongside CeCe LeBlanc. Addie tossing the first ball. She's from Northern Lights Bowling Center. And that one gets away from her to start, so she's just going to reset. Meanwhile, CC LeBlanc now taking the lanes. And so, Liam, you have been, as I said earlier, perhaps the person on the show the most in the history of the show, because you did all those Question of the Week segments way back when. You were our sideline reporter on the Nesson years. So what's it like being back in the booth? It's actually pretty exciting, but I still can't believe I did not make the show for bowling. And it was my last time when I tried to try out uh, a few weeks ago. You know, I was always impressed by how you always went out there. You always gave it your best shot. You tried all the competitions. I think you might have perfect attendance at our events for the past, like, 10 years. And that's amazing. There's something so awesome about just going out there and giving it your best shot. Yeah, well, you can't always uh, get what you want, as the song says. <laughs> that's true, but we got you in the booth. Do you want to try to sing it, Liam? Because uh, I, I know. I don't think that's a... I don't... I'm not sure if that's a good idea. <laughs> I think you've got a great history of singing on the show. I mean, we all remember. Ladies, ladies night. night was one of my favorite moments yeah. in Canada New Gen history. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, people's favorite mo moments. Same thing with my dad. I mean, Ed you've got a ton of my favorite moments in the show, Liam, and maybe we'll create some more today. Both of our ladies looking to do the same. Addie just off the headpin there as she gets settled in in her Candlepin New Gen debut. Cece LeBlanc doing the same, looking to pick up these three pins. Now one veers a little bit left. So both our ladies looking for the tents. Hey. Nice pick up for Addie. She's got a nice 19 after two to start. 
and CC with 18. Now, Liam, you are bowling in the state's tournament today, right? Yes, that's correct. How many events are you bowling? Uh, only one because, well, my dad had, had work this morning, which is why I was here a little later. And, Still thrilled to have you. Yeah, and also, I wanted to be here, but states, well, kind of bumped in a little closer. But I only doing one. I'm only doing one, and that's teams. That's a great event and a great hey. shot by Addie Hafford. She picks up the spare and gets the first mark in her new gen career. Looking to answer is CC. Ooh. Here's a little left, so look for the out. Teams is always one of my favorite states events. It's a great event. You oh, get yeah. pumped up, you get yeah, rowdy, you, you got the teammates. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's the that's when bowling's at its most fun is when you got a good group of people behind you. Yep, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. and that's where Addy shines, making the long track. She has the support from some of her fellow main natives in the crowd. You'll see Kai Hunt in the background here. We'll see him soon in our oldest age group. And so, Liam, we talked about our favorite show memories. What's yours? Well, besides uh, Ladies' Night, there's also the part that never actually made the show, but it did end up in the Best of Liam segment. That would be uh, me interviewing my grandma. Oh, yeah, that was great. Uh, did, did we not get that in the show? No, I uh, checked it. Unfortunately, the part where she said uh, us old kids alike only made it to the uh, cut segments. Got it. She, she appeared, though. Yes, okay. she did. I was going to say, that would have been pretty ruthless for the editor, a.k.a. me, to have cut your grandma out of the program. Yeah, so it would be. Glad that didn't happen. <laughs> 41 through 4 is Addy Hafford. 33 through 4 is CeCe LeBlanc. An 8-pin lead for Addy. And she's looking to add on to it at the end of the half here. So Liam, if you had to give these bowlers advice, you're a seasoned veteran, you've been on the sh crush show a lot, you know what it's like to have the mic in front of you and the lights on, any advice you'd give these contestants? Well, the only piece of advice is, well, I have a few, but Please. don't think about it and just try your best. It's all you can ever do. Couldn't agree more. I think when you get into these one-string matches, it can be easy to be looking at the score, but there's so much random chance that goes into it, and all you can do is just try to go up there and hit the pin you aim at. Yep. Addie put up a solid score. She gets a 50 half. CeCe LeBlanc, 42, not too shabby either. An eight pin lead in favor of Addie Hafford. She hands that over to Ethan Weeks in the blue. Maddie Smith in the navy. Ethan Weeks out of Newport Entertainment Center. Both throwing their first ball. Maddie a little off the head pin, but he gets more to look at. Uh, I know this is a against the rules by you, Rob. Excellent. Yeah, looking forward to hear where this goes. Uh, but to, I'll just say this. I'll say today. Nice spare, Maddie Smith. Whatever. Perhaps day, creating a distraction from this against the rules day segment. It might be. Is Matt's birthday? Is it? Yes. It is Matt's birthday. How about that? Well, that spare is a nice little gift for Matt if we give him an instant replay. So that'd be quite the birthday present, a $100 gift card and a trophy. Yeah, that would be. That would be. But the greatest birthday gift I ever got was to uh, was for my 18th birthday. We went to Twin Rivers Casino. Where'd you go? Twin Rivers Casino. Oh, really? Yeah. We got sports betting there. Did you bet on the candle pin wall today? No. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, I thought that would have been funny. <laughs> I look forward to the day when our new gen matches are, oh, are getting money lines. We're working on it. <laughs> don't you worry. Okay. What a bit by Smith. Nearly picks up the spare. Ethan came close too. Great attempts by our contestants. Ethan gets a nine. Bring him up to 17. Hey! Maddie you Smith with a 10 to 27. How'd you do at Twin River? Win anything? Oh, I did. I came in with either 150 or 160. Came out with 182. Woo! I've got to say, this is kind of surreal for me here, Liam, to <laughs> be talking to our former 11-year-old sideline reporter about how he did at the casino. Yeah, this is tenic really... Well, technically it wasn't 11, it was 12 and 13. Forgive me. This Forgive is right me. up my alley. Yeah. I'm loving this. Man, we are <laughs> getting old play? fast. <laughs> okay. uh, only the slots. Settle down. Oh, okay. Let's follow the bowling, gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Both contestants <laughs> looking for a spare pickup. Ethan on the head pin. Maddie as well, a little full. They're sliding though. Seven pins wiggling. Doesn't quite carry. 
So it blows my mind that you're graduating, Liam. Yep. Got any big plans after high school? Well... Other than hitting it big at the casino? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually maybe thinking about doing something called LARPing. That's live action role playing for those of you that don't know. Ooh. As a career? Not as a career, just something for, uh, you know, fun, because I get bored so easily, it's not even funny. It's a good hobby. I'm, I'm all about using your imagination. Yeah. Have you seen those Quidditch leagues? No. There's Quidditch leagues on Boston. <laughs> the game of Quidditch bears a striking resemblance to the game of Tree Ball, which I invented and has only been played by ten people. It's like the exact same game I swear so they plagiarized. So you ripped off. What a spare, Ethan Weeks! So you ripped off Quidditch, is that what you're telling me? Hold on a second, Brian. I broke my pen in excitement oh, no. <laughs> and no longer can write. Oh boy. No, we're good. Ethan with the spare. Nice attempt by Matt. And he gets nine. And so going into the last half box of the half, Ethan Weeks sits at 34 and a ball. Matt Smith at 46. Both our contestants going to look to give their fellow partner some momentum going into the half. Again, the pen broke. Yeah, we'll worry about the pen later. I feel like I got this under control, definitely. Ethan with the six fill, looking to make it two in a row. Just left of it. And, oh, I thought that would be, uh, I thought that would be uh, like a ten or a spare or whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, just missed the object a little. Great half by Ethan Weeks, a 50. So he and his partner each drop 50 halves, bringing them up to a 100 total combines. Matt Smith goes into the half at 52, making it a six-pin lead in favor of Hafford and Weeks. Our gentlemen are going to take a seat, and our ladies will take the lanes. They're done the first half. They're just getting heated up there. Want to continue? <laughs> and so as we go into the second half, Liam, I believe switch. we're going to bid you adieu, sir. Oh, we're going to have the ladies switch lanes. So hold on, Addy. Switch lanes. As we get things under control up here, we're going to watch the rest of this match. We're going to send you over to States to hopefully dominate out there, Liam. We wish you the best of luck. Yep. Before you go, any last words you want to say for the program? It's been a thrill having you on the show all these years. Of course. Uh, hey, if you ever try and go on the new generation, try and look up the past episodes and try and look me up, too. You can search Best of Liam, Candle for New Generation, and you will find quite the montage. So, yeah. Liam, it's been a blast having you on the show. Thanks a ton. Yep. Best of luck at the States Tournament, the LARP Bank, the casinos, and all you do out there. We're proud of everything you've yep. done. Yep. See you later, Liam. Yep. Thanks, Thanks a ton. Liam. Yeah. Liam Legier, a crowd favorite, and our ladies putting on a show, too. Big mark for Addy. And no luck for Cece as she went for that mark, too. Just didn't quite carry the 10, but easily could have. And it is a nine for Cece. So that brings Cece up to 51. Addy at 60 and a ball. Addy a little excited. She throws the first ball, gets some backdoor action, and leaves just the 10 pin. We're going to slow Addy down a little. So we're going to have Cece throw two balls here before Addy throws the next one, just to get us back on sync. So easy when you throw a mark to get pumped up. You just want to go back out there and drop a hammer. Who can blame her? So now CC looking to pick up the spare. Just misses. Addy's turn now. She's going at the single 10. And Elisa does it all. What'd she do now? She brought me a pen. Oh, wow. She's the best. She really is. We're going to talk to her next week on the program. And we'll get the lowdown from the Candlepin New Gen Insider. I can't wait to hear all the scoops. Seven for CC, nine for Addy. Ooh, this pen is purple. That's exciting to only me. 78 for Addy through 7. CC 58 through 7. And so Addy is building up a nice little lead for her team. About 18 pins in favor of Addy and Ethan. Addy back on the head pin. Leaves the diamond. Or as my dad called it, the bucket. The bucket? The bucket. Where's your dad at? He's always a hoot to have in the booth. I know, I know. I can't believe he didn't want to make the long trek to Woburn a full half hour as Addie Snickers having slept at a hotel last night. Oh. Nice 10 for Cece. Nine for Addie. Brings her up to 87 in the eighth. 
Addy has a high single of 91.08. High single of 91.08? Average, that's average possible. of 91.08. Okay. Yeah, that's on. Single. Yeah, you're right. That would be pretty weird. 91.08 average for Addy. One of those leaners. Call point oh eight. Close Gave her enough. a tenth of a pin for that leave. CC's average of 85 right behind. CC has seven siblings. Seven siblings, wow. She could have her own states team. We should ask her to rank them. <laughs> that would be a good BuzzFeed article. Rank CC's seven siblings. I'd be a little disappointed by that box. He goes through the half Worcester gap twice. That brings her up to 70. And Addie Hafford with the eight gets her to 95. CC a little right as she tries to steer one back in there. Would love to get a mark to finish out her day here at Camp New Gen. Or to finish out the string anyway. In addition to bowling, oh. CC on the head pin nearly catches it. In addition to bowling, Addy also plays the flute and guitar. Ooh. Meanwhile, Very CC musical. notes that she's really good with little kids. Because she has seven siblings. Makes sense. Checks out. Nice 10 for CC. She finishes with a solid 80 game. And meanwhile, it is a 103 for Addy Hafford. A strong performance. So our ladies will take a seat. Our gentlemen will take the lanes. Again, Addy Hafford, 103. CC LeBlanc, 80. And so Addy Hafford hands Ethan a 21 pin lead. She didn't drive this far for nothing. True. That's right. She's come here to win. And so no, now Maddie Smith takes the lane. If, we, if he looks familiar, we saw his sister a few weeks back, Sammy Smith. Ah. Nephew of Joe. Smith. We should check. Is that Maddie's favorite bowler? He sure looked like him there with that spare pickup as he looks to chip into the deficit. Ethan answers, though. Some fireworks from our younger gentleman. Now we're going. Ethan Weeks lists Impractical Jokers as his favorite program. You ever watch that show? No. So is it awkward. Good? It's awkward? Yeah, it is just, I, I don't like it. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, but it makes me feel but uncomfortable. But still awkward, funny. Tough to fill for Maddie, who I will note does love his uncle and lists him as his favorite pro. Ethan, meanwhile, a six fill brings him up to 66, oh. while Maddie sits at 64. Ethan, a great try. Yeah. Nice little fist pump from Ethan, yep. too. He's getting into it. Second half is where you can really have some fun up there as, oh. the, as the nerves start to go away. Tough four for Matt. Eight for Ethan brings him up to 74 to Matt, 68. The lead, about 29 in favor of Ethan Weeks right now and teammate Addie Hafford. Three boxes to go. Maddie would love to get a mark in and start trying to chip away. Maddie on the two pin. Maddie, what a ball. great try, leaves a solid eight pin, always a tough shot. And on the head pin is Ethan, gives it a go. What you got for us? Well, I think now is as good of an opportunity as any, Brian, to go to our Candlepin New Generation staff member of the match. Give me a second as I take their scores down. That is a nine for Maddie. And a seven, seven for Ethan. And it's time to plug the main man himself, Pete. Pete. Pete, show director, director of Franklin TV, a guy we love working with. Pete states that he was born in a log cabin all by himself, and two of the things he likes are people and living in America. <laughs> Our gentleman looking to pick up spares Pete. here. What a guy. Maddie Smith looking at a single, hits the wood and nice picks shot. it up. Great shot by Maddie as he works towards a hundred. Just off is Ethan. And so Maddie trying to keep himself in the rear view mirror here. Nice out by Ethan. The nine brings him to 90. The spare brings Matt to 87. And so the difference right now 
We're going to have to wait to see the fill, but it's about 17. So Maddie's definitely going to need another mark. Big fill here forces me to do some math. Time up for Maddie. Ah, tough fill in the corner. That one. I blame you on that one. I can add that. Gets him up to 88. Ethan at 90. And so he needs this mark to stay in it. He does oh, get it. Got it. But if Ethan can get a big count here, it's not going to matter. Ethan with five. Pretty sure has it clinched. That definitely will clinch it. Ethan with the eight gets him to 98, a 201 finish for Hafford and Weeks. And so they are going to be our victors here. But Maddie sits at 98. He's on a ball. I would love to see Maddie throw a hammer. See what you can do, Maddie. Right on the head pin. Oh. Give me what I want, Maddie. Great strength for him. A nine brings him all the way up to 107. They finish at 197. Come just four pins short of Addy Hafford and Ethan Weeks. 201 for Addy and Ethan. They're moving on. We'll talk to him right now. These two are moving on to our finals. We'll start with you, Addy. Such a long trip. Worth it now that you've got a win under your belt? Yep. How does it feel coming away with a victory? It feels pretty good. Anything you plan on changing? You get to stay up here, bowl one more match against the one seeds. What do you plan to do in that match? Um, just do the same thing I did right now, just a few seconds ago. Feels like you were throwing a good ball. Did it feel like your game up there? Yeah. Well, congratulations. You're advancing to the finals. And so are you, Ethan. Yeah, Ethan, moving on to the finals. How do you feel about a, a big win and moving on to the championship? Um, really good. Uh, this is my first time here, so I'm really excited. All right, and how are you happy with how you bowl? Do you want to do better? Do you want to change anything? I want to do better. What do you think you got to do in order to do a little better? Um, keep my ball straight. Keep it straight. Um, what's the one seed? Those two right there. So what do you think you got to do to take down uh, the one seed next week and win the championship? Um, I want more marks. More marks. I, I like, like marks. that. I like that strategy a lot. Like some marks. So it's the big bad number one seeds are facing these two next week. We hope you will join us. We're here at Woburn Bulladrome. I'm alongside Brian Rowe. I'm Rob Taylor. We're with our pals at Franklin TV. Come back next week to watch an 11 and under championship showdown. We'll see you then. Candlepin New Generation encourages kids to be active and enjoy Candlepin Bowling. Candlepin New Generation is made possible by Academy Lanes, New England's largest Candlepin Center. Visit academylanes.com. By your community's public access channel. And by your Franklin friends and neighbors, good folks just like you. Thanks for supporting Franklin TV. And thanks for watching.